The parking lots of two factories, one of them abandoned, are now filled with thousands of Volkswagens. We discovered this over the weekend after a truck carrying VW cars wrecked in Walker County. News Channel Line's Brittany Martin tells us why the cars are there. Brittany. Calvin, last year Volkswagen recalled half a million cars during the emissions scandal. We found out then that some of those cars were made here in Chattanooga. Now thousands of the recalled cars are being stored in Walker County. The first time we saw those VWs in Walker County was on Friday. A truck carrying a trailer full of Volkswagens turned over in a ditch. This picture from viewer Aaron Black shows a truck 60 feet off the road. But where were they headed? Just 15 miles away, we discovered a lot filled with thousands of Passats, Jettas, and Beetles. Anytime you drive by and you see thousands of Volkswagens just sitting out, along the road, you wonder why are they there? Walker County spokesperson Joe yeah, Legee says Volkswagen contacted them at the beginning of this year. They need a place to store the vehicles while they work on an emissions fix for all of the vehicles that were recalled. In 2015, the Environmental Protection Agency found the company was cheating on emissions tests. They bought back half a million cars. Legee says VW heard Walker County had a lot of empty land. They are being stored on private property, so they contacted our development authority to find out what sites we had available and then we helped coordinate with the private property owners. Some of them are at the old Barwick Archer plant near Kensington. The rest are at the old Bluebird factory near the airport in Lafayette. They're storing about 9,000 on this site. Legee says they're bringing cars here from all over the country. I've seen plates as far as away as, as California. He says while this site brings in a lot of inquiring calls, the agreement is a great networking opportunity for the county. We wanted to show Volkswagen and especially its support suppliers that we're cooperative and willing to work with business out there and we're hoping that this is kind of a bridge that leads to future development in Walker County. When we asked a local VW spokesperson why the cars were being stored in Walker County, he asked us to call their office in Virginia. I called there too and I have not heard back. Calvin. Thanks, Brittany. Back in April, a judge ruled that Volkswagen would have to pay a settlement of $2.8 billion.